I'm expecting big things from this match. Both these guys have looked tremendous as of late. Diego Pato, Nogi Pan champion, winning all four matches by submission earlier this year. Gabriel Souza, second place at the Who's Number One Championships. Aggressive, explosive, submission hunters. Quick two points there for Gabriel Souza, time in the guard, pull up Pato. Pato coming up with that closed guard. Very similar situation we saw with Gabriel Souza in his match with Richard Nogueira. Yeah, Richard was able to uh, hit a beautiful body lock takedown from that, but now we see the guard open and Gabriel Souza's guard passing has been on fire as of late. Something that he's... Uh, Pato in on a leg here. Yikes. Okay, he comes up for two points. See Pato, yeah, nice. And Easy nearly reversal. Oh, rolling for the back take. Gabriel Souza saves himself with that grip on the ankle there. That was nearly a big deal for Pato. Wow, aggressive stomp pass. Whoa. Beautifully timed knee slide, jumping over the other way. Yeah. Pato really dropping that hip down. I'm like an atomic the, bomb. I'm like the so intensity in this match, man. <laughs> yes. Yeah, you're right. He, he really did. He dropped that with intent. So is it looking to close the distance and put on the put on the pressure and it's interesting they have very contrasting styles of guard passing you see very tight very close low base and generally trying to engage and go through the middle of the knee slide is Diego Pato Gabriel Souza very mobile long distance always running around the guard switches up his uh, attacks side to side always pressuring his opponents one advantage for for Pato, but Gabriel Souza on bottom now, playing this close guard. Not really a position that I think that he wants to be. It's not really something somewhere where you see him a lot. Look at this close guard break. This is some interesting technique here from Pato. He does actually manage to get that knee up the middle. You can see it just poking through. He's almost managing to get it up the middle. Souza has got that. The ankles locked around the torso. Closer now as Pato rocks back to his heels. The kneecap all the way exposed at this point here. Has so nice is still hanging it, though. on though. Yeah. 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 <laughs> very. And now he opens it. Oh, an adjustment, but very difficult to keep your close guard closed when your opponent is, uh, is putting the knee up the middle like that. I think we may see Pato go for it again. Gabriel climbing up for a high guard now here. Going higher now with the close guard is Gabriel Souza, but again, that knee up the middle, the knee in the butt. I'm surprised that he hasn't been able to open the close guard. I guess what he needs to do is he needs to put his hands on the chest and push back mm. as he gets that knee up the middle to be able to break open the close guard. And hands on the mat. There it is, it opens up. Yeah, and it opens up. Now he's got some space to, to get moving. And like you mentioned, I don't know if Gabriel's particularly upset by that. Sometimes you're also sort of locked in. You don't want to open up against your will. So now Gabriel enters into a guard that he may prefer. But Pato, again, given space, is dangerous. Both of them are. That's the other <laughs> thing. Uh, Gabriel Souza, one of the things that he does best is actually his, uh, his wrestling. He's a very, very good wrestler. And from this open guard, I'm wondering if he'll wrestle his way up and try and put down Pato that way.
I think we're moments away from a flurry of action here, and Gabriel Sosa proves me wrong. We're back in close guard. Back in open territory here as Patsa starts to work his pass. Yeah, Rousseau's looking very composed on the bottom though. He had to get off a lot of offense, but maintaining a solid guard. Competing in the featherweight divisions, 149 pounds here in the Nogi World Championships. Quite a measured approach, I would call this, so far. It's uh, lots of small battles going on all at the same time, but the speed that these lightweights have, or these featherweights, I should call them, the speed that they have when they start opening up. Six and a half minutes into this match now. We see, look at this. Here's a guillotine attempt from Pato. Pato's got a good grip around the that neck. That looks good. Jumping, oh. but Souza manages to get his head out. And now puts a little bit of pressure on the guard pass. I feel like that was pretty tight there for a second. And the referees agree because they gave they gave Pato a, an advantage for that attack. Now it's, oh, um, dropping back for an inside heel hook. Gabriel Souza's looking for a leg lock, but Pato seems out of danger. And now on top, but not long enough to get points. Still four advantages now, it's still 2-2. Two -two. Actually, the side judge is gonna take back a, an advantage. So it's uh, three advantages, but still 2-2. Two -two, and Gabriel Souza is getting busy. He's going for that, that relentless guard passing style that oh, we know it. him so well. Two minutes and 20 seconds left here. Pato. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Reverse triangle, and he's got a, a Kimura grip as well. Sosa takes a moment to breathe and they straight back in. Two minutes remaining. That's two points for Diego Pato coming on top now. Will we see Souza manage to win this wrestle up? Because it looks like Pato's got a nice wizard here and a good counter. Falls on bottom. Okay, so the score's even. 50 50 position. Gotta be careful. We saw Gabriel Souza's teammate, Diego Romalio, rip on a heel hook from this very position earlier today in his uh, weight division semi-final. Quarterfinal, I should say. Less than a minute remaining. Gabriel's looking back for a leg, but Feel like they're kind of stuck in this position right now. Gabriel Souza is trying to find the leg, but easier said than done. 20 seconds now. Hey, 
And that is gonna do it for this featherweight final here. Diego Pado takes the win via advantages in a very close match. I think Diego uh, extremely happy. Well, you can see the frustration on Gabriel Souza's face. They're so close. I'm getting tied up in that, in that position at the end, but 2021 IBJJF World No Gi Featherweight Champion Diego Pato adds another gold medal to his collection after winning the No Gi Pans earlier this year. It's a, uh, it's a big result. Well done for Diego Pato as he's greeted by the man in his corner, Marilla Santana, ahead of getting in his gold medal here at the Nogi World Championships. We'll take a quick break as we see the winner's podium. Uh, actually, oh, we'll hold on, we have some replays coming yeah, up man, first. That, that, that near guard pass was a thing of beauty. The way that he stepped on the leg and then dropped into that knee cut, but the guillotine was tight. The guillotine was really tight. I'm surprised that Gabriel Souza was able to rip his head out. Let's go over to the podium so we can see the uh, see the presentation. Damien Orande in third place. Danny Myra 